Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia and today I want to share some ideas that I think everyone can use to turn their home into a smart home. I'll leave topics and timestamps in the description box of everything I'll be going over today. If you like this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's just jump right in. The first thing I think of when I think of a smart home is a Google Home or an Alexa. You can use these systems to totally transform your home into a smart home. And if you're not sure how they work, I created a video on using a Google Home, which I will link up here and down below for you if you wanna watch that. But I would definitely recommend getting one or the other to really start your smart home journey. Whichever one you choose is completely up to you. There are so many home products that you can link with a voice assistant, like a Google Home or an Alexa now. It's pretty amazing, so let's talk about some of them. The first one and one of my favorites is smart bulbs. I think lighting just totally transforms the mood of a home. So I've been utilizing smart bulbs anywhere I can in my home. I'll link the ones that I use in the description box, but there are a ton of options that you can choose from. And they're amazing because not only can you turn them on and off with your phone, you can change the color, change the tone of the light from warm to cool. You can adjust brightness, but you can also have Google or Alexa turn them on and off for you. So at the end of the night, if you don't wanna go around to each lamp, turning off the lights, you can just ask your smart home to turn them off for you. Hey Google, turn off the living room lights. Honestly, it's every lazy person's dream. <laughs> Not only can you ask a voice assistant to do all this for you, but you can also schedule and automate the lighting to go on and off at certain times, so right before bed, or if you struggle waking up, you can schedule a light in your room to go on at say 6.30 every day to help you get up and out of bed. Another smart home item that goes along with lighting are smart shades. If you have those shades that you have to open and close with a string multiple times a day, it can be so annoying. But now they make blinds that again, you can control with a voice assistant with your phone or by using a timer. Obviously, it's great for controlling lighting and privacy, but it can also help with temperature control. So you can have your blinds shut during the hottest part of the day if you live somewhere really hot, which can conserve energy as well. I'm currently renting, so I don't have smart shades, but this article from Wirecutter talks in depth about a lot of great options if you are looking to implement this in your own home. And I will link the article in the description box if you wanted to look at it more in depth. Another really cool option for a smart home that you might not know about is a smart faucet. And you might be like, why would I ever need that? But it's actually pretty cool because you can ask the faucet to dispense two cups of water or fill up your water bottle and actually set the amount of water that your water bottle holds. So if your bottle holds 32 ounces of water, you can set your faucet to fill it up so that when you ask it to fill up your water bottle, it just dispenses 32 ounces of water exactly and then shuts off. So if you're really looking to up your smart home game, check out a smart faucet. Another thing you probably have seen a lot of these days are smart thermostats. Obviously this probably won't be an option to install unless you own the property you live in, but I couldn't make a video about a smart home without talking about a smart thermostat. So obviously these thermostats are supposed to be great for energy saving because you can set them to adjust temperatures throughout the day. So this is gonna be really helpful obviously so you can turn the heat up or down at night while you're sleeping during the day when maybe you're out all day and don't need your heat or your AC on. And this can obviously conserve energy which for most people translates into saving money. These are great for automation, but you can obviously control them with your phone as well. So maybe you're laying in bed and it's really hot. You can take out your phone and turn down the temperature two degrees, which again is a lazy person's dream. Now let's talk about another option if you are a renter. Smart plugs are a great way to automate and control your smart home. So say you have something that you can plug into a wall, but it's not something that you can use with a smart bulb. So maybe you have a neon sign or strip lights or a night light for your kids or something like that that you can't just put any bulb in, you can buy smart plugs which are pretty affordable and plug them into your outlets like you normally would and then plug in the device that you want to control with your smart home. So that way if you want to turn your neon sign on or off at night instead of having to go and unplug it, you can set a time for it to shut off or turn it off from your phone or with a voice assistant. This can also be great for things that are more dangerous like hot tools 
or space heaters that can cause problems if they're left on, you can go on your phone, you know, if you rush out of the house and realize you forgot to turn something off and just switch it off. Another option you can use if you're a renter are smart speakers. And honestly, most of the Google and Alexa voice assistant products are also speakers. So it's kind of like a two in one. Some homeowners have, you know, really great hardwired sound systems, which you can of course control with your smart hub. But if you're renting, you don't have that option. So the great thing about smart speakers is again, the ability to ask the voice assistant to turn on a specific playlist, turn the volume up and down, stop playing music altogether, but you can also pair speakers together to play the same sounds throughout your house. So it's kind of a different way to get a cool speaker system if you are a renter. And I actually did talk about pairing speakers in my Google Home video. So if you're interested in seeing how that works, again, you can refer to my Google Home video. This next product can work if you are a renter or a homeowner, and that is smart doorbells. So I actually thought that you could only use a Nest or a ring doorbell if they were hardwired into your house, but you can actually still use them even if they are not. So I will be showing you how to set one up in an upcoming video, so make sure you're subscribed for that if you're interested. But the difference is that you will just have to charge your doorbell or change the batteries if it's not hardwired into your home. So this is great, obviously, so you can see if there are packages at your door, so you can talk to your guests and let them know that you'll be down to get them in a minute. and for security purposes as well, since most of the smart doorbells have cameras. And if your apartment building or rental doesn't have a security system or cameras, this might be something that you might wanna get if it helps you feel safer. The last product I wanna talk about today are smart locks. I love smart locks. I'm always losing my keys, honestly, and having a smart lock would be really nice for me. There are so many reasons to have smart locks though, not just for habitual house key losers. Obviously, if you lose your keys, you don't have to worry about getting the locks changed. If you forget to lock your door, most of them will automatically lock behind you. And you can frequently change the code, you know, if you run a business where you have people coming in and out frequently, or if you have an Airbnb or something like that. So smart locks have a ton of benefits, but again, are really best for people who own the properties that they live in. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I realize smart homes can come across just like gadgets for lazy people, but if you have mobility issues or you don't have the ability to get up and close your blinds or something like that, these tools can be extremely helpful. There are honestly even more products out there that can be used with a smart home than what I mentioned in today's video. So if you have any additional items that you use and love, leave them in the comments below for everybody else to check out. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.